Good day. Welcome to Keywords Everything. Man, do we got a great video today. This is going to be a two-parter. First part's going to be hardware. Second part's going to be software. And I tell you what, the second part, I think that's going to be the best one. My buddy Matt, he finds things. I don't know where he gets things, but he's giving me a lot of Commodore 64 things and some other like like capacitor testers, kind of weird electronic stuff. But this, I think, is the best haul that he's ever given me. And uh, thank you very much, Matt, because uh, this means a lot because I, I really love, this is my favorite, Commodore Commerce 64 stuff, and he did not disappoint. I don't ask where he gets this stuff from because you really don't need to know, but let's start off and take a look what we got. Of course, we got Commerce 64. Nice, very dark brown, very vintagey brown. So that's kind of nice. He said he believes these all work. We're gonna test these out just to make sure. If not, we'll probably at some point, we'll do repair videos on these guys. So we got a Commerce 64, I'll put him over here. And of course, Another Commodore 64. This one's a little little lighter brown. Kind of nice. They all need a little cleaning because they, they've obviously been sitting probably in a basement. And it also has that, if you sniff it, it has that kind of that very basementy smell. Very vintagey basement. So that's pretty cool. Then we also got, let's see, let me get some more hardware here for you. We've got the whole set here. We've got a, of course, a, a 1541 drive. One of the, the Newer ones without the latch, the flip lever. So that was really cool. Then the best, let me get these out of your way. Come here, guys. We got, oh, it's coming, guys. This is in a box, Commerce 64C. And the 64C, I do not have one of these. Believe it or not, I got tons of Commerce 64s, Mono Cs. So this one's kind of neat. And the fact that it's in a box, even the box is a little uh, poor condition, still a box. So it came with free education. So complete system, $600. Let's see, let's see if we can get this open for you guys. Look at that. It's in the foam. Of course, it's missing the package, but it's got the power supply, drive cable. Very nice. It's actually not very dirty either. So I'm kind of excited about this. I'm hoping this one really works because this is like some, well, I said one I do not have. I got a 128 that looks like this, but not a 64. Then, hold on, we got more stuff, guys. We got more. This one actually, I was very excited about. This one also has that nice uh, basement-y smell. I'm gonna put him over here like so. And then we got, of course you have to have, then you have to have, Printer. I have an MPS 801, MPS 803 Commodore printers, but my friend had this one, and this is a Star Micronix. Uh, if you probably don't remember these guys, uh, these were very popular printers, dot matrix printers, and of course, this one's color, so you can see you can paper feed and you can do some other things. And of course, it has, let me see if I can get it out. Oh, I'm trying to show how this comes out. I know it popped out somehow. Hmm. It's in there anyway. It has, it has a three, or uh, let's see, black, red, yellow, and then some other color ribbon. So it's a multicolor ribbon, so it would make a pass in one color, another color, another color, until you got the color you wanted. So that is very cool. And it is complete, so that's very, very nice. And then last and best, let me get it. Oh, see, so how are you gonna top that? Well, this is something I do not have. Do you know what it is? It's small. A 1541-2. And I don't think I've even ever seen one of these. Pretty much everybody I know had the 1541 or uh, maybe sometimes a very rare 1571, but a 1541-2, very cool. And I'm kind of excited about this because it has the power supply, which is kind of hard to find. And still got all the cables hooked up, so that's really neat. Where are the three cables? Okay, so it looks like they had pass through so they must have had two drives on here and this one was kind of neat because it had the little dip switch on the back somewhere in the back or back here you can change your drive letter so we're going to give these a test at least just kind of power them on make sure that they do power on and go from there and then the next video oh, that's going to be the best one so let me get some more stuff set up i got the 1571 monitor here we're going to plug these bad boys in and power them up all right so we got mostly hooked up i just kind of plugged in the power supplies initially i just wanted to see if we get any uh fire or smoke coming out of them but um which one is which and that was the video so we're gonna test out these camera 64s where's the other end of my cable here come here mr cable there you are 
We got the 1702. You gotta have the 1702. We're gonna plug this fellow in. Let's see, that one there, and there, and that one right there. Let's turn him on. Did she turn on? She's on. All right, let's turn the Commodore 64 on. Let's see. Anything? Anybody? Uh, maybe I do not have this in the right signal. Let's see. Front, rear. There we go. I need to find some more hardware. Yeah, hopefully we should have a blue screen. And we do! Look at that, 64K RAM. We have a working Commodore 64. Let's smell. <laughs> I smell nothing yet. Okay, we have the second one hooked up here. Or I haven't hooked it up yet, but this one I'm a little leery about because you can see the motherboard's flopping around in here like it's not screwed in. So I'm kind of skeptical about this fellow. So I think what we'll do is we'll just hook up the monitor. Oh yeah, it's definitely loose. And the power, get the power, get in the hole, get in the power hole. What do you think, yes or no? I'm going to say that's a no. Yeah, that's a no. Could be it, maybe parts were taken off. We're going to open it up at some point. We'll take a look and see what's wrong with this fellow. So we'll just stick him over here because we know he does not work. And let's grab the Commodore 64C. <clears throat> and with that one, let me grab the power supply and hook that one up. Okay, we have the Commodore 64C. And power is, let's see, where's the power? Here, Mr. Power. There's the power. We'll plug him in. Get him juiced up. Mr. Monitor. Like I said, this is the one I'm kind of excited about because it's one I do not have. Kind of see, let's power them on. Anybody? Oh, she works. There we go. Very nice. That is awesome. This is really going to go in the collection. This may become my main Commodore 64. I, I use the Commodore 128 for most of my stuff right now. But it's always nice to have some Commodore 64s laying around, especially working ones. Working ones are great. And now we have the drive, Commodore 64 1, Commodore 64 C, and a broken Commodore 64. I don't know if I'm going to test the 1541. We've got tons of those, but I think I want to show you the next piece of hardware. So let's hang on one second, guys. Hang on. I got something really cool here. It did come with, of course, a Vic modem. This was 300 baud, kind of early. I, I do believe these came out with Commodore VIC-20 also. Maybe it was a 150, 150 baud. I don't recall the speed of this one. But model 1600. And then the mystery piece. So let me readjust you guys so you see the mystery piece. We do have the 1541, and I was looking at this piece of hardware here. You'll see right over here. Let me get him out of the way. This fellow. And I was like, what is this guy? There's no inputs on it. It's just a power cord. You know, 110 lead on it and a fan. And for life of me, I'm thinking, is this some kind of modem? But how would it work? And then it came to me. It came to me, guys. Let's get him over here a little bit more. He fits right there. Do you know what that is? It's a fan. If you remember these guys, the power supply is in the back here and it gets hot, especially, you know, if you didn't have air conditioning in the eighties and you're playing your conference 64, these babies got hot. And this kept it cool because he's just got a fan. So I'm kind of curious, let's see if this works. I mean, it's just a computer fan. It looks like they had some kind of filter over it, maybe to kind of keep it quiet or keep the wind from blowing on you. I'm not sure. This looks like a stocking. Oh, you know what it is? Somebody puts their mom's stocking on there. 
Probably just to keep it a little quieter. Let's plug it right in. All right. Let's see. Anybody? Oh, yeah, she's going. Yeah, very quiet. So that definitely would work. Kind of, I do remember things like this came out. A lot of people make their own like little, little muffin fan, put it on there. Here, if I flip, flip it up, it's a little louder. But that was a nice little solution, just to have a nice little fan on there. Cool idea. So that's the hardware. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to test the printer. Let's at least turn on, I don't have any paper for that printer. So let's turn the printer on next. Okay, we got Mr. Printer, let's see if it's on. There it goes. Of course, it's out of paper. I do remember my friend's dad had one of these and it had, um, I don't know if that's in there correctly, might not be in all the way. But I remember I'd print on one, move it down, move it down. Sounds like it does feel like it's in there correctly. I think we just kind of move along the print head. If we can move the print head. Paper feed works. Power. Yeah, online, offline. Now these change your fonts. And this was... Oh, couriers. Oh, these were fonts. These were... Elite. Oh, condensed. The kind of features for your fonts. So let's try it one more time to see if it. Okay, so it looks like it does work. Very nice. Nice little haul. So that's the haul for this week. Like I said, my friend Matt, he seems to find a lot of this cool stuff. And finding the Commerce 64s, it's kind of like gold right now. But he knows I like that kind of stuff. So it's really nice of him to give me all these guys because they are going to go to a nice home. And they're going to be well taken care of and cleaned up. And maybe I'll do another video later on when I got them all nice and cleaned up. Don't need to really retrobite this retro bright this guy because he's he's pretty nice and nice and shiny still. Uh, we'll definitely have to clean the, the floppy drive because the floppy drive is a little and maybe just a little cleaning. But all in all, still very nice. So thank you, Matt. And that was the haul for this week. Commerce 64's printer drives. Let's see what else we get? Modem, drive cooler. Um, a lot of cool stuff. And this guy was still in the box. Actually, the bag for him is in the box and the, so and the, the styrofoam. And the next video, what we're going to do is I have the software for this. And it was a massive load of software. So I'll kind of keep that as a surprise because that's the best part. But anyway, until next time, I want you guys, that's you guys. Have a great day.